Hey guys, what's up? This is I'm a Genius here, and what I have today for you is a quick speed test showing some of the higher speeds you can get on Straight Talk's network. I have the AT&T version of uh, Straight Talk's SIM card popped in here, and I am running this on a Sony Xperia Z2. Without further ado, here we go with the speed test. All right, 210 milliseconds on the ping, and a download going 25, 26, 27. Pretty nice download speeds right there for a $45 a month phone. And looks like we got 29.19 in the download. And let's see what we get on the upload. This is probably one of the higher speeds that I've gotten on this phone in general, uh, on Straight Talk on any of the phones that I've used for it. But I do get over 20, a decent amount, and I would say the average speed I get even during congested times would would be around like 12 megs in the download as an average for the uh, LTE network. Here's another speed test for you guys. See what you see what I get just to back it up with more proof. Uh, to over 20, 19 looked like it dropped down to 17. Still pretty good speeds. Now, I have also owned the iPhone on Straight Talk Network, the 5S, the 5, and the 5C, and those ones with the built-in APN settings do not do too well at all. They average around like 6 at the max on a download, unless you jailbreak it, that is, and enter the APN settings manually. But, so, <laughs> so my recommendation is to stick with Android unless you're going to jailbreak your iPhone on Straight Talk Network, that is, just for Straight Talk. That's the only reason I'm saying that. Here's the APN settings I have for these speeds that I got. If you're a little curious, so I'm going to show them. All right. What am I doing? Let's go to the APN settings. Sorry about that. All right, straight talk. I'll post these in the description for you guys if you can't really read them on the screen or if it's going too quick. But here's what I'm running just to show you. Anyways, thanks for watching. This is I'm a Genius.